This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 402 for Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. Oh, God. What kind of shoes? All kinds. Do frogs wear? Open toed. <laughs> the sailor, Go, go USA. Go USA. Go you can USA, have the big one. Go USA. So this is uh, the new uh, limited from Sailor, and it is uh, red with uh, we got white ends and then a blue section. Actually, I love the color of the blue. Yeah, it's the got blue a little is... sparkle in the section. Hey, we should do a pen that color. <laughs> <laughs> only only available uh, in a Pro Gear, uh, Pro Gear Slim or the full size Pro Gear. So the red barrel and cap are not sparkly. Right. But the blue is, which yes. is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like the gold trim. I prefer gold trim. Okay. Um, which makes me happy. So just really, really very patriotic, very interesting, very different. And I like that the U.S. is getting some more exciting um, color combinations. I, the white is kind of a creamy, creamy. white. Yep. It's not like a in your face white, which I like, um, so that it doesn't pop too much off the pen. Just a really good mix of colors. Yeah, so uh, 14 karat on the slim, of course, 21 karat on the large, and uh, while supplies last available and extra fine through Zoom, uh, and all seven, uh, seven nib choices. Uh, the Penlux Masterpiece Grande, really, really pretty, Light blue, dark blue swirls. It's um, a cool pattern. It's really nice. It's really nice. a great color combination. What I like about it is the swirls aren't super large. No. You know, you, you get some of these pens that uh, by, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're mixing uh, modern acrylics. And they're big, giant swirls. These are very fine, yes. thinly, uh, thin swirls in it. Yeah, really, um, really, really nicely done. Yeah, it's a great, like great it a pen. It, it looks fantastic. Of course, it's an oversized uh, King of Pen 149 size. Uh, it's got a roller clip. Uh, it is a piston filler. Uh, and it uh, comes with a, Yovo, a steel Yovo nib. Great. Uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub on this. So, uh, And it's under 200 bucks, which is, which is super awesome. But nice. Yeah. Nice piston filler. It's really nice and smooth. Um, Pretty color. Nice, uh, nice looking pen. And it's it's a good fit for the rest of the pens in the Penlux um, lineup. Yeah. So there, there's there's quite a quite a few nice ones in that lineup, and this mm -hmm. this one I think is, ooh, that's nice. I like that one a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you need a tester. Uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Crystal. Look at this. Because you have. I have the Crystal Dream. Which is the Homo sapiens, but with the bronze trim and a clear, uh, and a clear window. ink window, which <clears throat> I, you know, it is nice. But this, look at this. So this is based off of like the Homo sapiens dark age. We do not have a trade-in program. We don't have a trade-in program uh, for owners. Maybe? No. But look at this smoke gray section. This is really, really Very hot. Very cool and stealthy. Dark, dark nib on it, um, and then of course you've got the the smoky ink window up here. Uh, which is almost, you almost don't know it's there. Really, really great um, craftsmanship. Really um, a nice update. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you know, two-stage two reservoir power filler. Uh, so you get your back, back uh, reservoir and then your front reservoir. Do it that way. But uh, I, I, I like this. It's really, really a sharp-looking pen. And it will go to a good home. Solid gold nib, uh, and it's uh, black, black plated there. So Esterbrook Aqua. So why are we talking about the Aqua? <clears throat> they um, because... apparently the factory. Well, these sold out. Right. Like within like three or four hours. Okay, but the newest one, just to refresh, is the Sea Glass. Sea Glass, yes. And so now we're talking about the Aqua, which was before the sea yes. glass. Yeah, so this 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 was this a, is pretty. what they call a, a seasonal. Uh, we sold out. Like a seasonal beer? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they sold out and then we couldn't get any more and then we're told that was it. So 
I was shocked last week when I got the e email that said they they had they, enough to make they about. They found a box. <laughs> they, they had enough material to make about 30 pens. Awesome. And like. I don't want to know how many of those 10 you ball points. Don't ask. Um, don't so they're only available in the oversize. Okay. With gold trim. That's it. That's it. Okay. No regular size, no palladium. Or the ballpoint. And the ballpoint in gold trim. Right. You know, Which we didn't have before, I but really like these ballpoints. Since we got the ballpoints, I, I like the size. I like the. It's not too big. Um, it's slender. It's got a. It's just it's, nice. It's not that slender. Um, yeah, it's not that slender, but it's also not. It's super not chunky. super chunky, but you know, it's not like an all American or something no, like that. No, but this a is bigger, a. This is a nice size. I do like these. I may have to go shopping. And uh, and, and the length too. I think it's just really. A, yeah. I think it's a good it's a good nice size, size in my hand. But uh, these came in, uh, and they are, well, I can clearly limited at, at this point. Uh, there will be no more um, available in all your nib choices, including uh, journaler and scribe. Uh, right now, we do have a decent selection of those, so... But remember, the journaler and scribe, there are there is far more demand than supply. Um, so we could sell out today, yep. and then there will be a wait until we get restocked. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we'd certainly keep the, keep the pen for you. But right now, as of <clears throat> recording, uh, we, have, we have good supply, uh, so they would ship right away. But yeah, that's a nice... Mm -hmm. Nice, nice looking pen, and it's got the cushion cap on it. Um, fits nice in the pocket. That clip is nice and springy. I like that. Great. So, um, SD Aqua. Awesome. One last chance, I guess, on those. So, so we're talking about the Namiki Emperor again. Again. And the reason is that we haven't had them forever, and then. They got a shipment in at the distributor, and so we got one, we sold it, we got one, we sold it, we got one, we sold it, we got one, we sold it. And then this is the first time we've had a medium nib yeah. in how long? Ever. Oh. Well, we I ordered this like four or five months ago. Okay. Uh, and it finally showed up. Um, the medium finds in the broads we, we, we've had, and they've all sold out within, most of them within... Four hours. Okay. Five hours. Um, but we have a. Well, we now do you're have a, jinx us. <laughs> we do have a medium nib in stock. So they come in fine medium, is the finest, a medium, and then a broad. Well, retro. I get, I get to do this now. <clears throat> All right. So Retro 51 has um, long had their classic lacquer series, which is um, lacquer in gorgeous, bright, fun colors with chrome trim. And now they have come out with the Brass Classic, which now has the gold-colored brass trim. Um, now, we saw something similar to this in Japan. We saw them with gold trim that they made for the Japanese market. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> if, if you want a gold-looking trim as opposed to a silver, now you can get it. Some of these are this, this I love this one. What is this one? Kiwi? Kiwi. Kiwi. I love this color. It looks great with this, this I brass I like the trim. orange with the brass. Yep. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just a warmer color. Uh, mm -hmm. I just I noticed, too, that the, the top disc, uh, it says Retro 51. Oh. It's not uh, like the original classic lacquer have a colored disc Correct. on the top to match the pen. So but... slightly different, which is nice. Well, that's nice. That Kiwi like is it. nice. What else do we have here? All right, you know, you know, oh, look at this. Peacock. Peacock. That's kind of the purple. in your face. The green I like. So again, this it's... This one's nice. Oh, that really pops, the pink. Um, so it's all the classic lacquer colors. Um, only now with uh, the brass trim. And, and then they added for? the uh, classic lacquer white. This has the chrome trim, but it glows in the dark. Ooh. So that's kind of cool. That'd be handy. And then the Chaplin, which is uh, a matte finish white body with black trim. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's different, a really different texture on there. It seems, yeah, it's just a, not even, like a, not brushed, a texture, but like it's a, a I'd, I'd almost call it a brushed satin, but a, yeah, a brushed, yeah, uh, brushed yeah, like a matte body with uh, the glossy black trim. Uh, back by popular demand, the coming soon uh, <laughs> section. Uh, so we've got uh, a couple things. Okay. Uh, Monteverdi, Ritma. Those are funky. So we, we haven't had 
Monteverdi products in a little while. Um, we used to carry the Prima uh, and, and a couple other pens, uh, Intima and some of those other ones. This pen, I like. Okay. I like it because number one, magnets. <laughs> it's pretty cool because it, it is a nice, a nice snap to it too. On the back end, <laughs> uh, when it posts, and and when you when, when you cap it, 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 it it's really nice. Okay. Um, I, I think I think it's going to be a cool pen. Uh, and now they're all using Yovo nibs. Yes. So that's a definite improvement. And what is the price on those things? They're like less than forty bucks. I believe so. Unbelievable. So I, I'm excited for those to come in. Okay. Um, get a Yovo pen, Yovo nibbed pen for under forty dollars. That's fantastic. And uh, there is a really cute special edition with a lanyard with a lanyard uh, in uh, an olive green and yes. it's, it's got dark trim it's really super cool looking so uh, Ritmas are coming in um, and I mean, we're excited for that I'm excited I'm excited for Hobonichi this year I finally got all the product up on the site what is it 80 with 83 uh, I think so 83 new um, products this year you can't see them yet because we're not allowed to release them. We're waiting for images um, to be available to us so we can get everything ready. There are some really cool um, patterns. I, I am excited. There are mm -hmm. also some cool new accessories that we're carrying this year. So mm -hmm. that's pretty yep. cool. Yep. Um, and the most important thing. What's the most important thing? Yes. This is oh. Tomoe River paper. I promise you. Yep. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. We're. Yeah. I have no <clears throat> idea what's going on with Tomoe River, but Hobonichi assures us that the 2022 Hobonichi planners will be using the Tomoe River. It's, actu it's actually in the catalog. It's under the description for every single yes. SKU. It's paper, Tomoe River. Yes. Da -da -da -da. So. Um, and and I, I think we just we just take it one year at a time. So yep. this year is Tomoe. Next year, let's worry about that next year. Um, but uh, sign up uh, for back in stocks on that now. Uh, we do have um, kind of a placeholder mm -hmm. uh, product on the Hobonichi page, uh, a category page under stationery. Uh, and sign up, and we will let you know when we can um, launch Make the catalog. This available. <laughs> we have some new paper products that are coming. I, I think we should talk about this that. This week. They, they should be here this week. Um, Funny. These are adorable. Funny stuff. We've seen these out and about in like all over the country and finally pulled the trigger. Uh, we will be carrying a number of products from a company called Knock Knock. Who's there? <laughs> and these are, uh, let's call them irreverent. Um, yeah, they're, they're a little bold. They're a little some racy, of some of them. Um, Things that you would say to yourself, yeah. uh, to-do tasks, you know, to-do lists that are like stuff I got to get done. Um, but they're cute. They're cute. They um, they're some fun. really adorable uh, memo pads, some really cute sticky notes. Um, one is a like to-do and to buy. Um, and you had some of these in Chicago. I, I had some that I bought and loved them. Uh, especially the the one and that's perforated in the middle. Yeah, they're they're different color on each side. Yes. And then it's perforated. And it what was, was it for to, now and for later or something like that to do <clears throat> to buy work and home call and home. Yeah, yeah something like that. So uh, we're getting some of those, but a lot of these are uh, one is a babysitter list, which is really cool. It's called um, "Don't Kill the Kids." <laughs> and <laughs> swear to God, um, so just really cute oh, sound, sound advice. <laughs> Um, just cute uh, notepads, and I have used them, and they are decent paper. Yeah, they're are they? Should we be using a one point one stub on them? Uh, uh, you know, I'll find it again and and drag it out and play okay. with it. Uh, it's not Tomoe River paper. No, 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 no. It's but, just regular, uh, kind of a thick paper, but you know, um, decent, decent paper. Yeah. So those um, but, are coming, and that's, that's going to be fun. But we didn't buy it for the no, paper. No, we, we didn't buy it for the, paper. For the yeah. designs, and some of yeah. these are just really cute. Next up, coming today. Oh. Um, finally. So this comes, and you're going to get one right after my birthday. 
we celebrate differently in this household. <laughs> um, <laughs> the sailor, so. sailor 110th anniversary, Shurogane and Kurogane are finally coming today. Okay. Um, now. What does that mean? Well, first off. So does this mean that tomorrow you're just going to stay in your office and like clutch this thing? No, I'll be right with it. Be right in my or... hobonichi. Yeah. Um, so the, the shirogane is, is sterling silver. Okay. Uh, the kurogane is a black um, steel. Looks really, really pretty cool. Um, and these pens uh, for the anniversary, we're finally getting them, but we're getting about seventy-five percent, eighty percent of what we actually ordered. Uh, we're still getting a fairly healthy supply, but. Um, if you were interested, I would suggest uh, signing up for the back in stock. And if it's something you want, I would suggest getting it because we're only getting a few nibs of each. It comes in um, fine, medium, fine, broad, and what I, fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. Okay. Right. So four nibs, um, and uh, and they're coming today. I'm so excited. And then we will get a small restock. In October? In October, I think, yeah. So in a oh. couple of months. But if you're considering it, um, while they are usually pretty good about back orders, who knows? On, on, th on this one, I'm, I'm not taking a chance. In fact, right. when they said that, I sent an email because uh, we've got a couple of uh, a couple of folks that, that want a particular shiraganes. And I said, please, please, please. Send mine, <clears throat> if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, I'd be happy to wait, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to wait. And and what happens if something happens and they say right. that's it? That's it. So uh, we're getting we're getting a bunch in today, and then tomorrow uh, I will be doing a video, and uh, hopefully we'll have it up tomorrow so you can see the two pens and the packaging and the box and everything. Okay. So that's good. Some uh, of you know that we do some consignment sales, uh, and we do kind of specialize in uh, makie and some Japanese, uh, unusual Japanese pens. We do have a, a lightly used Namiki Rock Garden, Yukari Rock Garden is coming in um, at a very attractive price. So if that is of interest, uh, shoot us an email uh, and uh, I will get that up on the website very soon. I have four $100 gift cards. We have gotten so many really <laughs> cute, funny um, uh, responses to our um, 400th podcast giveaway. Um, well, the gang loves loves mail now. Mail comes in, they're, they're opening them up. I'm like, okay. I haven't read them all yet because we were gone. Um, but yeah, they're... They're cute. We were at the store. Uh, I was at the store on Saturday. And so after we got all the shipping done, I went through and read them all. Some of you people are very funny. We got a poem. We got um, some really cute, uh, some really cute comments, some really cute uh, entries. And don't forget to use the magic word. Uh, check the, uh, the 400th podcast for full details. Uh, we have not had anybody disqualified yet, so. I know, that's pretty impressive. Which is, which is pretty We didn't have one hand delivered like the very next mm -hmm, day after mm -hmm, the podcast, mm -hmm. so hi, Bob. Um, and uh, yeah, some of them are just really, really cute. So, so thank you for your creativity. Yeah. We do read every single one. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and winner will be picked at random. It has nothing to do with how well you write so don't worry about that um we'll just go through if you qualify it goes in one yep. pile if you don't qualify it goes in the other pile every single one has <clears> been <throat> handwritten yep. so so uh, all good you know i <clears throat> i have to say i think we had a better time in chicago than we did on our actual vacation in new orleans which is pretty sad but uh, we went down to chicago to bring a load of product to the store to start to set up the shelves um, bringing a U-Haul truck down into the loop is really not easy. So we, <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to do. No, no. So we are making, uh, we'll, we will be making several trips 
um, to slowly stock the shelves in Chicago. Uh, so we brought down a car full and uh, started to put some, some ink. Um, we brought some Punilabo pen cases. Mm -hmm. Those are adorable <clears throat> right in the front window. Um, gave everything a good clean and um, just kind of wandered around the hotel to see how things are progressing. And then um, had the internet turned on, so now we could open. Yep. And we got super lucky. The phone number stayed the same. They had told me that since we'd had it disconnected so long ago, we couldn't. But somehow we managed to keep the same phone number, which is fantastic. Yep. Makes so much. <clears throat> it makes it so much easier. Um, we also went to the Art Institute, Yay. renewed my membership, so I can go now when I'm down there. And um, yeah, they had they had a couple new uh, couple new pieces hanging up. Mm -hmm. um, a half Rembrandt, as it were. Yep. <clears throat> but, school uh, of. School of Rembrandt. Uh, but uh, no, it was a good time. Uh, and a uh, couple restaurants we went to. We went to the, Miller's the, Pub, one of our favorites. Um, my Cobb salad is no longer on the menu, which is sad. a little sad. Um, but you had Cobb salad like everywhere else, though. Yeah, <laughs> I think that <laughs> kind of made, made up for it. Um, uh, we, we found a new little place. Uh, what was it called? Red Rock Brewing Company. Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom. Red Rock. Rock Bottom. <clears throat> right across my hotel well, was uh, was was real, a decent place. Yep. Um, and uh, Grand Lux, of course, uh, mm -hmm. one of our favorites. But uh, but the creme brulee is gone. What are you going to do? But uh, we had a good time. We um, did. We've got so uh, you know we're starting. If if you happen to walk through the Palmer House, uh, you'll you'll start to see some. We've got some Ink Studio and we've got some Sailor Ink in there. Uh, we found uh, we, we accidentally left what about a dozen pens actually. <laughs> <laughs> In the display, we totally forgot, and we've only been down there how many times since uh, since you closed. I don't know if they were covered by a sign or if they just happened to be um, on the the back side of a, a four sided spinning fixture. And I, when we left, I thought that we had taken everything, but um, I went to just check all four sides and make sure there were no signs or anything. And there's like a dozen pens. Dozen it's crazy. Points. So um, those are in the case now. They're in the case, uh, but uh, yeah, that was that was something else. And, and here I thought we were almost out of those particular pens because because <laughs> they're all discontinued, yeah, and no. we're doing so well in Appleton selling through them. And uh, but uh, anyway, found more. We found more. Yep. Um, so it it was good. It was a good a, a good opportunity to go through and make sure um, because when we left last March. Um, we brought a, most things back, and then in May we brought more things back, and then in June we emptied the store um, and got out of the apartment, and everything has been here in Appleton since. Um, so it was a good opportunity to make sure we knew what cases we had, what fixtures we had, what do we need to buy. Uh, we clearly needed more prongs for the slat wall. Um, and, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, when, when we left... You know, Sailor only had black, blue, blue, black, right. red uh, for for ink cartridges. And now, and now like there's all 30. the Shikiori's, yeah. uh, and you know they only had two converters. And the compass colors, <clears throat> and yeah. Yeah, now you've so. got all these other cards. So yeah. we'll, we're going to mix that up. We've got a couple of that set up uh, on the slat wall. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so if you go by, it doesn't look quite as abandoned, but it <laughs> certainly doesn't look full. So, pardon our uh, slow restocking, but um, car, car loads every couple weeks are the way that we're going to do it for now. So, um, still looking at uh, late Third September, September, soft open ish. Yep. Um, and then the first Monday in October, right after the Chicago Pen Show, uh, will be a Coles of London uh, ST DuPont Visconti awesome. event. Uh, and I believe John Lane will be there for I that. I so. don't know if Michael will be or not, but I Michael's think, always come. I think he's abandoned. He's us. abandoning us. Okay, so we get we get John, uh, which is awesome. It's by by no means a consolation prize. No, not at all. Uh, but uh, no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun <laughs> to uh, get back into that. And then, of course, you know, starting in October, you're you're gearing up for the holidays. So yep. yep. Um, one of my favorite things about the Palmer House 
is how they decorate for Christmas. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's yes. really nice. And they, it's, they almost always put a, a Christmas tree right outside our front door, yes. which is really nice. So I don't have to decorate. You don't have to decorate. <laughs> um, uh, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news and um, upcoming events and uh, promos and all that. Uh, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And uh, our website for Chicago to keep you updated is chicago.andersonpens.com. Yes. Uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.